The next position that we're going to be doing is a static crab. So a static crab, we start with our bum facing down. We have our fingers pointing away. And we're creating what is a capital M with our body. So Animal flow is a body weight style movement that's inspired by parkour, breakdancing and gymnastics. And it's a beautiful way to bind together strength, mobility, flexibility, structural integrity and mind-body connection. From here, eyes to the rising sun, right thumb in front of the face. I then drive through the heels, take the hips up to the sky, take the thumb up, back and over, and my upper arm should be in a 90 degree bend. The word animal for me emotes different type of animal movements. Are we replicating that exactly or is it more like a bit of an energy of that? It's more of an energy of that. So we're utilising moves that may mimic or seem like we're doing a specific animal movement, but it is not so that we can move like an animal. There is that animal aspect to it, but it's actually that it allows us to go through different planes of movement and increase our mobility, our structural integrity, our strength, all of that sort of stuff. We're gonna, from our loaded beast, we're gonna initiate the same front step, but from here, we do a front step through. Is there a particular level of fitness that you should have prior to coming into animal flow? Look, it's just like any other form of physical activity. If you're running, you need to be able to have strong ankles, right? Same as animal flow. As long as you've got the bare minimum requirements of the strong joints that are able to move through a certain plane of motion, then that's gonna depend on where you start within the regressions and progressions. So um, as long as you can stand on the ground and move like a child, then you can start. Left leg, scorpion reach. Out, up and over. Ears by the biceps, strong in the hands. Micro bend in that knee, nice, looking good. Is there anyone that animal flow might not be suitable for? Look, if anyone's got a specific ailment or injury, such as they can't take heavy load on their wrists or their ankle, just because we are taking our joints through multiple planes of movement, you're probably going to expose that and it can get quite wrist heavy. So um, yeah, just making sure that your wrists are strong and a good position to move. Right leg under switch. So right hand, left hand lifts, right leg, yeah, nice. Finding left leg under switch. Obviously, we all have different flexibility levels and fitness levels. Can you adjust the movements? Absolutely. There's there's progressions and then there's regressions. So there's things like a side kick through, which is the base, and then we can do a, a jumping side kick through or levitating side kick through, depending on your capabilities. Left arm crab reach. When we talk about fitness, often we put things in boxes, like it's strength, it's cardio, it's hit. What's animal flow? Animal flow is the glue between them all. So if you are an athlete and you're looking for strength and mind, body and connection, animal flow works for you. If you only lift weights and you're super strong, but you want to work on your pliability, mobility and flexibility, animal flow is for you. Or if you're into yoga and you just do linear movement, you're going to get that strength and that core foundation as well. Return to loaded beasts. Anyone ever make any animal noises, I've got to ask. <laughs> just a few. Just a and few. I'm hoping that we hear at least one more today.